Hello, welcome to the Vintage Classic Metalwork channel. So on this video, we're gonna do an unboxing and brief overview of the new Planishing Hammer we've just purchased from Frost. Mm, yes, we've uh, been wanting one of these for a while and uh, we've never used one, so let's see what it looks like. Well, there you go. That's the Planish and Hammer all set up. It's probably taken us about 10 minutes to do. Probably 15 at a push with both of us doing it. Uh, it came pretty much pre-assembled, so it's very little to do anyway. Over to you, Andy. Nothing to add, Tom. <laughs> oh, right, okay. So, with that, the only things that we have had to change are the uh, Airline connector, we've had to change it to a hypo one uh, to suit our settings. Uh, one bonus that we did notice in the box was nine dies. On their website, it said it comes with four, so it's even better. There's a, a huge range that we have uh, can choose from there. So that's pretty much the assembly complete. We're now going to give it a bit of a test run and we'll let you know what we think. Okay, so we're going to do a practical test now uh, and put the machine through its paces. Uh, we've never used one before, so it's completely new to us, but we understand how it works. So hopefully we'll pick it up quite quickly. Andy's going to do uh, a piece on the console where he's making an inner arch out of uh, 0.9 steel. So you'll get to see him uh, shaping that using this. And then what I'm going to do is some welding tests. So I've got some 1.2 or 18 gauge 1050A aluminium. This is what we use for paneling bodies at work. So this is a good practical test for us. I'm gonna run a weld down a butt joint and then planish the weld out. And then I'm also gonna run a weld down some cold rolled steel, 0.9 is the thickness or 20 gauge. And then again, just planish the weld out and see how it reacts to uh, putting it through the machine. And it's, it give us a good indication of its capabilities and how we're going to use it going forward in the future and on uh, future projects. Right, let's crack on with it. Thank you. 
Right, so we've uh, put it through its paces, uh, hopefully given you a, a couple of realistic demonstrations on how you would use uh, this frost planishing hammer. Uh, the welding tests that I've done, I was really surprised with the results. I knew it was capable of this, but to achieve it on, it, on my first go, I was very happy. Uh, the steel is a bit harder. Normally when I weld a panel in, I would try and fuse it, but for this demonstration, I thought it's only fair to use a bit of wire. I used 0.6 wire on this uh, uh, piece, and I've got to say, very impressed. Just a light file up, and uh, the aluminium, as you can see in the video, I was on it for quite a while, and it hasn't split, as you can see in the close-ups. So yeah, all in all, on a welding test front, very happy with it. And also, so I've made a piece of the Ford console in a wheel arch, and uh, yeah, very impressed. It took about half an hour to 40 minutes to shape that up. It's, uh, if you know how metal forms, it's quite um, intuitive on how it works. It's, it's, it's just like using a stake and a hammer, but a thousand times quicker. So, it's, you know, as long as you know how the metal forms, it's really quite straightforward. It's easier than the English wheel. It's, you know, yeah. it just takes a little bit of practice. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's definitely worth getting. I'm, I'm pleased with it, are you? Yeah, yeah. so this is 650 on the Frost website. We bought this out of our own money, by the way. This isn't a promotion or anything like that. We just wanted to show you. We've always wanted one. So 650 on the Frost website, and I think it was about 60 pound carriage. Uh, it took about three or four days to arrive. Um, well, you, it, you see in the video, it come well, well packaged, didn't it? So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Things can be improved on it. Uh, it's not like a brilliant build quality, but I think for our workshop where we come in the evenings and, and do our little projects, uh, it's more than good enough. We would even use this. I would like go to say on like using uh, using it on like the Ferrari or Bugatti or Bentley bodies that we do and, and so forth in, in our day job. Be good enough for work. Yeah. Yeah, easily good enough. Yeah. So. For that, yeah, I, I definitely give it a thumbs up. I would give it a thumbs down slightly on, uh, we did have an issue on the thread with the adjuster. Uh, it seized up after about five minutes when we took the inspection plate off. There was some grit in there, so we cleaned that all through. So if you do get one, I know Frost aren't to blame for that. You know, they only distribute the product, so they didn't manufacture it. So just double check that, you know, quick simple resolution there uh, mm -hmm. so yeah all in all very impressed with this machine and can't wait to use it on future projects yeah yeah so hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much yeah cheers smooth <laughs>